Zero101, and I'm going to be doing six days of Blender tutorials, one tutorial per day, and this is Blender 2.58.1. A, I don't think that there's any possible way to get that number using any form of math because it, it's not even a real number. So uh, I'll start with uh, uh, basic physics in Blender which is gravity and collisions. So I'm going to show you that by doing a domino set in right, dominoes in Blender. They're not going to look like dominoes, they're just going to be rectangular prisms that knock each other over. So start with by pressing S, 10. So that scale and 10, make it 10 times the size it is. And S, Z, 0 0.1 I don't like to use the plane because sometimes it glitches and things fall through it so instead I just use something that actually has depth instead of, uh, instead of a two-dimensional object a three-dimensional object so press 1 here to go to this view 1 on the I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what to call it and now shift A, mesh cube, if you press 5, it'll do this weird kind of 2D thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Now, it helps you with placing objects. Like It shows you that you have to put the outline of the object, the white outline, while you're moving it. And so it's just inside of this plane here. S X and make it really small. Now we'll press three S Y and make it a little smaller. Then one again, move it like this. Now before we duplicate it, we want to give it some physics. Blender game. I found this the easiest way to do this. So let's go to physics and rigid body, it'll make it a hard object like wood, bricks, or it'll make it a hard object. <coughs> Set collision bounds and box. Without this, this is what happens. It falls through. Give it collision bounds and it stays there. You can press five you can press five again. I'll just leave it like that. So shift D one, it'll it does it in, uh, so it'll do it on the x-axis because of it being in alphabetical order. So shift D one. Now I'll just press B. Box select to choose them all. Shift D three. Enter B. Shift D six, enter. Shift D six again, and Shift D two because there's one in front of it. And I'll make this last one taller. Is why not? <coughs> so uh, S. Z bigger. Also, and the Y axis of this Y wider. So now make sure that the outline is just inside of the plane. And now to make one of them fall over, just press R. Y, rotate it a little like that, 5, and go to the position you want to watch this in, press P, or play, and they'll knock each other over. And that's how to do a domino effect in Blender 2.58.1, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to make release a video of a 
of how to use the shatter tool in Blender 2.58.1. Bye.